What's up everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, my friends. Uh, we had a great trading day. It just seems like we've been on this big streak. Um, and I just love to see that everybody is using the fibs, using my techniques and doing really, really well. So today I thought um, for our new audience, I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to try to explain these concepts like if I was explaining it to a newborn baby, okay? So new traders, you are newborn babies in this game. So I'm going to try my best to teach you everything step by step, all right? So if you're ready, let's step into the war zone. Before we get started, let me shout out the Trading Wars Army members and who else is here. Uh, Doc, Fasundo, Test Games, Whiskey, Ginger, Trading Wars Army, Edwin, Trading Wars Army, Produce Chips, what's going on, brother? Nirav, Test Games, Andy, Khaled, what's going on? Trading Wars Army, Chris, good to see you guys. Bad Indy, big boy, Trading Wars Army. All right, you guys ready to rock and roll? Hit me with a one and let's step right into the war zone, okay? So, as we always do, my friends, the first thing we do is we need to draw the previous day's high and low. This is the most fundamental part of training. So let me try to explain it like I am doing it for a newborn baby. Okay. So the reason we draw the previous day's high and low is because we need to understand where are we opening? Because where we're opening determines who's in trouble in the market. If we, so for example, if we open exactly where we close, so if I zoom in here, you can see. This is where we closed on Friday, so right here. So if we opened right here, then basically you could say that nothing happened, right? Nothing significant happened. And because of that, we're not expecting there to be extreme volatility. We're not expecting there to be some kind of squeeze because we're opening where we closed. However, if we gap up here, we are opening the doors to volatility. Or if we gap down below the low, we're opening the door to volatility. And the reason is this. Okay. So let's say you're like me, or you're like a trading wars army spy VIP. Let's say you bought the opening range breakout on Friday, and then we gap up today up here. Okay. So there's two things that are going to happen. The first thing is this, there's going to be some profit taking, right? Because that's what we've been waiting for all weekend. So profit taking comes in. There's also going to be shorts that are trying to short and because of all of those factors, we're expecting volatility. We're expecting a lot of direction, okay? And that's what we need to understand is where we're opening because it determines what type of trading strategies will we use, okay? Hit me with a nine if that makes sense so far. So again, we need the previous day's high and low to give us a point of reference, a point of reference. So here we go. The first candle comes in right here, guys. And let's, let's look at this carefully so we can, I'll walk you through this candle. So here's the first three minute candle and we can see, right, that we opened, okay. We opened above the high. So this is clearly profit taking, right? We have guys that were like here, like me, and then, okay, we want to make some, want to lock in some money as well as we have some shorts that are trying to short. So what's the first trade that I do? Okay, what's the first trade that I do on those type of days? Well, let me walk you through it, okay? So here we go. So this is my commentary from the morning. Good morning, friends. Slight gap up here. Our long trigger is 389.22. So we had a line in the sand at 389.22. But the first trade that we took today, guys, was the opening range breakout. So I said, going to try the three-minute opening range breakout, small size. 30 seconds, so be ready. So we ended up going short at 9.33. So let me show you exactly how I did that. Okay, so we can zoom in on this candle and we can see here. So it's pretty crazy that the low of the candle pretty much lined up with that closing bar on Friday. So what I did here, guys, took a Fibonacci on this candle, right? We broke to the downside right there, guys. So as soon as we broke the low, we got filled short. That's when we went short. We hit the first target, which is the 272 extension. The next target is the 50% extension. And then from there, I got my stop loss to break even and we had another leg down. So pretty much guys, this move right here was about 50% return um, on, on at the peak, it was about 50. So when you're scaling out, you're getting 20, 30 here. This big move here was 50% return in basically like 15 to 20 minutes, right? So that was the first play for me. You could see here, target one hit, boom. I'm going to break even right now. Let's not play with our food. Let's get win let's get this win to start the week. And then I hit the two targets here and then friends I'm done. Better than st there's nothing better than starting the week green. 
So that was clean right off the bat. Okay. So a lot of people don't understand, but you can use the opening range breakout with the Fibonacci and the way that I like to use it. And this is something that I've created, guys. This is this is me creating this. No, no one's ever taught me this. I just put the Fibonacci on the candle and I use the measured move of the candle in order to help me with my targets. All right. So hit me with an 11 if that makes sense. Okay. And I'm going to show you something that I'm sure you didn't see on this chart, but I just want to show you that Fibonacci's are happening at all time. And in my book, right, I created a level called the 10% extension. It's not really a Fibonacci, but it's something that I, I basically seen from trading for many years is that a lot of the time, so you can see here, this is the 10% extension of the previous day's range. So what does that mean? We're adding 10% more to that range. So this is 10% of this full move. And usually what I see a lot of the time, guys, is a 10% rejection once we make a new high. And the reason for this is a lot of the times the algorithm is going to lock in profits. And this is where the breakout buyers buy in this, in this little pocket. And uh, the market loves to punish new traders, greedy traders, traders that are trading flags and wires and, and WAPs and LAPs. Because right over here is where this is the greed part. Okay, so this 10% also lined up with the opening range breakout. That's even made it a, a, a even 100 times better play. Okay. All right. So right after the orb, we got straight into some morning leg Fibonacci's. So now when you're doing the Fibonacci on the intraday, you're just looking at the price action raw. You don't need to have your lines. You're just looking at, okay, here's the first few candles of the day. So what kind of move is this? Just look at this with me. So I'm teaching you guys how to draw the fibs, right? How, what, what move is it? Is this a move up or is this a move down? Hit me with a one if this is a move up. Hit me with a two if this is a move down. What do you guys think? So we can clearly see here, guys, this is a push down, okay? So the whole point of the Fibonacci is this. So we have a move down. What do most new traders do? At the very bottom, they're going to buy puts. At the very bottom, because it's another FOMO thing. They'll be like, oh, okay, market's crashing now. Market's going to crash now. I'm going to buy the puts at the absolute low because they get FOMO, because you know they're looking at wedges and stuff. Okay, I'm going to buy the breakout. And this is where they get punished. However, what if what the Fibonacci does is says this. Let the move show its hand first. Then when it comes back between 50% to 78.6%, discount so when it comes back up then i want you to buy the puts looking for a pattern like this push down push back up and then push back down okay that's what we're looking for in a fib and sometimes the fibonacci will continue extremely lower or sometimes it'll pause right around here or the third option is it just keeps going higher okay and that's when you get stopped out so those are that's basically what the fibonacci is doing it's saying the fibonacci is saying this Show me your hand, okay? The market, you want to move down. All right, we're, we're going to be disciplined. We're not going to buy puts at the lows. We're going to let, let it come back up into the golden zone, which is going to be right here. And then we're going to buy the puts when we get a better deal. All right, so we'll go ahead and draw the fibs for you right now. Okay, so let me just go into the Fibonacci live of setups rooms because we, we, drew, we drew this one together this morning as well. So here was the morning leg right here. And then, um, so our high and our low. So the same thing that I'm drawing for you guys right now. And then you can see right here, 618 fill. And then we just had a nice little rollover. So I'll show you that right now. So we take the Fibonacci from the high to the low like this. And then you draw your box, which is your golden zone. There's your 50 to your 786 right there. That's your golden zone. So put this in yellow. So that's where you're looking for to get in with the assumption we're going to go back down. And this is how we use fibs because we're getting a 50 to 78.6% discount on this move instead of buying the puts at the very low. So we pull back up into our range. There you go, guys. Algo comes in right there, takes it back down. Okay. So that's that move right there, guys. That's all you need. You know, that's like 15% return with options could be more with futures. That's two, three times your money easily. Okay. So, and what happens is not all the time are you going to actually like make a new low. Sometimes you're going to 
move around here and then pop back up. And that's why I have these targets. So people always ask, Rich, what are all these levels here? Well, these are all my targets, guys. So if I get in, if I get in on the golden zone, then when I start coming back down, I'm going to be taking profits on all of these levels as well as looking for a new low. And once we start pushing down here, I'm going to move my stop loss to break even right there to protect me on the remainder of the trade. Hit me with a 10 if that makes sense. Hit me with a 10 if that makes sense. Okay. So now this is where it's going to blow your mind is, okay, we know that the bear, this was where the bear came in, right? The bear came in right there to take that short. But what about the bull? Well, there's also a bull algorithm right here, guys. And look how beautiful this bull algorithm is. Right in the golden zone, took it down to the 786 right there. That bull came in and that bull right there, guys, won that fight. Took it straight back up. See that? So there's always fibs happening everywhere. And the point of it is this. This is what most traders do. Let me just reiterate this, okay? Buy calls here. Buy puts here. Buy calls here. Because they're just looking at the chart. But what I'm telling you is use the fibs, okay? What do you do instead? You buy puts here. You buy calls here. Because it's doing. you're doing almost the opposite of what's on the chart because you want to get a better risk to reward. You want to get a better deal. Okay, and then the nice, the last play we had was called the afternoon Fibonacci leg. And this one is probably the easiest one because like I always say, it comes in between 11 to 1 o'clock. When the market starts to get choppy, that's when your afternoon leg comes in and we drew the afternoon leg right here for everyone. Okay, so this is in real time. So let me just show you again. We take the Fibonacci from the high to the low right here. So our golden zone again is in the 50 to the 786. So on this one right here, guys, there was a little bit of heat because you could see it it almost stopped out. So let's say your stop loss is here for protection. Okay, it almost stopped out right there. But then the algorithm, you see how the algorithm is playing around? It's pushing in, pushing in. That's why I have this 90% level because that's another one of my levels. So it's an algorithm, 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 pushing, pushing, pushing until finally it takes over, it takes control, right? And what's what's it trying to do? It's trying to go ahead and make a new low. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch. Okay, we're watching still. Boom, there's your new low. Okay, it makes a new low by a little bit. So the algorithm is comfortable. It locked in all of its profits. And then right here, again, what does the rookie do? They short right here. They short right here because, of, oh, breaking out, breaking down. They short right there. But instead of shorting right there, that's where the algo covers, runs it up a little bit, and then we kind of come back down because the bear was too strong. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. That's beautiful. And now I'm, I'm just going to wrap up this lesson here. I'm going to show you some Fibonacci overdrive. So what the overdrive is, guys, it's basically I'm just going to show you all the legs on this chart. There's no way in hell that you're going to be able to trade all of the legs. Me personally, one good Fibonacci leg a day keeps me profitable. But I want to show you all of it so you have the education. So let's walk through every single one, okay? So like I said, the first leg was the morning leg. Right there, push down, pull back in. There's your 618, okay? Then the next leg was the opposing bull leg right here. Boom, 786. Okay, so those are two legs. Now, once this bull takes control, so you can see the bull takes control because it breaks this swing high, okay? So the bull takes control. Now we draw the new fib. We go from this swing low to this high. You see right here on the 50, came right on the 50, took it to the 10% extension. So this bull algorithm is satisfied. Now the bear starts coming in. Okay, now watch how the bear is playing it. We go from this high to low, another 50%. Okay, let's go again now. From this high to low right here, boom, another, that one is a 618. You see that, guys? It's all fibs, all, all fibs, trust me. But you're not going to be able to do all of that in real time. The only person that can do all of that in real time is a robot. So that's why we stick in the room. We stick with the morning leg and the afternoon leg. We do throw in the opposing leg if it's clear, but otherwise, you're just going to be like overwhelmed. So focus on one or two good legs a day and you're good. All right. Hit me with a 15. Hit me with a 15 if all of that made sense. To summarize, the Fibonacci is a tool that's designed to trade pullbacks. It's not a breakout style of trading. It's, a, it's doing, what's on the, doing the opposite of what's on the chart. And by doing the opposite of what's on the chart, especially if you're an options trader, you'll always get a better deal than buying a breakout. If you short when we're running up, 
you're going to get puts cheaper. Okay. That's what I'm trying to show you here. All right. And if you look at this price action, guys, some people might look at this and say it's chop, but trust me, a professional can make a lot of money trading this. You just play to the fibs, you play to the algorithms, you play to the power, what's going on in the market. All right. Okay, guys, look, as always, check me out at tradingwars.com. That lesson, guys, came directly from my Fibonacci and Options Mastery book right here, guys. So check this out. This is what I was talking about there is the morning leg and the afternoon leg, as well as the opposing and the sequenced. So those are all the legs right here. So this section of the book is all the legs. I have over 50 charts in the books, okay? 50 charts, 70 pages. Part one is all about basics of fibs from beginner to uh, advanced. And part two is actually how to use the fibs with options and use conditional orders in order to execute. All right, so look, that's my recap today. I showed you all my live commentary. Um, if you wanna just sign up to the room, guys, you can sign up right here on the main page, okay? You could sign up right here on the main page or right here on the main page, okay? Um, as always, shout out to the Trading Wars Army. I just wanna say we launched a few new levels. Um, just I just wanted to show some love. So anybody that's been in the Discord with me for more than three months, I've upgraded you to the SPY MVP, okay? Thank you so much for your support. As always, guys, make sure you're doing the 100 trade challenge. This challenge, when you're done this challenge, when you've done 100 trades, it's going to make you a different trader. That's 100% guaranteed. So what I would love to see you do is do 100 Fibonacci trades. It doesn't matter if you have money, you don't have money because you can do this paper trading. And at the end of this, look at your stats. What's your profit and loss? What's your win rate? So make sure you do this 100 trade challenge. Read the Trading Wars FAQ. It has all of my Fibonacci levels that you can use here directly. Um, and make sure you sign up for the lifetime giveaway. Okay. So the lifetime giveaway is a big deal. So let me show you how to find the lifetime giveaway. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to show you how to do it right now. So, all right. So if you search at trading wars lifetime, so this was the, the first lifetime giveaway we did was in September of 2021 and Andrea won that one, but you have to go here to latest. And this is the one right here. So from June 14th. So at the time we had 20.2 thousand, 20.2 K subscribers. Now we're over 21 grand, you know, so we've been doing really good with the YouTube. It seems like people are learning, loving and earning. And what I need you guys to do is this fill out the form and it'll take, it'll take you to this form and I'll, you have a chance to win a lifetime membership for life guys. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead here and um let's go do some scans to wrap up the day we'll look at what's hot for the stock market going into tomorrow we're going to use trend spider and then we're going to wrap it up so first thing we do go to the market scanner hit the blue raindrop that's our number one um rare pick finder so we have ford here so ford guys nice little tight blue raindrop here so the last time we had ford with this type of raindrop was back here April 7th, which led to a nice rally. So that's a good pick right there. Ford, Ford can move. Pen, you know, we've traded all of the pen raindrops. So this was a blue raindrop, um, even though it's yellow because it was a blue raindrop and inside bar. This one led to a little bit of chop. This one was a clean push down. And then we have another one here. So pen looking good as well. BA, Boeing. This one is double the trouble because we have an inside bar and a blue raindrop. So those are three beautiful picks for us to watch tomorrow. I'm gonna post some free picks on Twitter right after this to get you guys ready. Let's go ahead and look for the Holy Grail. So this is my custom pattern, Trading Wars Holy Grail. So we have Bank of America here. This is a nice one. Um, if you, the last time we had a Holy Grail was over here, led to a two leg push down. So it could potentially be something similar here. Um, so let's see, that's a nice one there. I don't trade these other two and let's look for the Nirvana. So let's see if we can find anything on the Nirvana. Nothing. So no Nirvana set up today. All right, guys. So those are my scans. And um, if you want to uh, get these scans and you want to use trend spider, it's a very powerful tool, guys. Use my code TWZ30. Or if you're already a member of trend spider, just let them know you want to join the trading wars affiliate and they'll hook you up with all the scans. So I'm going to go post some free picks right after this stream. I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, just hit me with a nine if you had a good day and hit me with a uh, hit me with the rockets on the way out because we're on a big win streak right now. You could see and we, we hit the orb on Friday. We hit the orb today. 
I mean, at some point the orb is going to lose, but it's been, it's just been blessed in order to, that we're on the right side. So anytime, you know, things are going good, we need to appreciate it because sometimes things can go bad, right? So just enjoy it when it's rocking and rolling and be ready to protect yourself if things start to turn the other way. All right, guys, I really appreciate you. Please comment, like, subscribe. And um, one of the requirements to be a part of the lifetime giveaway is to subscribe. So I hope you guys could help me out there and just hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment, right? Um, what is this guy saying? Anyways, leave a comment, guys, at the end of the video, and you'll have a chance to win the giveaways on Sunday. Thank you very much.